to read the Western as a Christian is complaining to us that you people are heartless. Your God is a merciless God. He's a bloodthirsty God. This is the charge that the Americans and the Britishers and the French and the Germans are making against the Saudis. Mm -hmm. I have visited this country dozens of times, but I have not seen a single guy with his hands chopped off. That doesn't mean it hasn't happened or it's not happening. It must be there, but I haven't seen one yet. Yeah. But now I want you to tell me honestly that if your father and mother are sleeping and a burglar gets in and your dad wakes up and grapples with the burglar, but the burglar is too powerful, he floors him, sits on his chest and is strangling him to death. Your old mother comes to the rescue and rescues your father. Your father is rescued, freed him from that burglar. Now your dad tells you, he says, son, chop off your mother's hands. Chop off her hands. For what? Saving his life. Chop off her hands. So you say, daddy, are you joking? <laughs> no, no, are you joking? Look, she saved your life. And now you say, chop off her hands. Are you joking? He said, no, my son, I'm serious. He said, daddy, have you taken some drugs? Or, or alcohol? You must be drunk. He says, no, my son, I'm inspired. So, said, daddy, who inspires you? He says, God. I said, no, daddy, this is not the work of God. A woman saves your life and you chop off her hands. I can understand the Arabs chopping off a guy's hands for robbery, for burglary. Okay, maybe they're too hard, they're too harsh. And they'll give you rationalization that, look, we, but as a result of that, we have hardly any to the extent that you have in your own country. You know, the same type of crimes are very few. They have it, but they are very few. Because of this law, the fear. I can understand the Arabs, but daddy, you are a good Christian. You know, you seven day Adventist and you Jehovah's Witness. No, no, no. This is the inspiration of the devil. Am I right? If your father tells that your mother's hands must be chopped off for saving his life, it is the devil that's inspiring him and not God. You agree? Do you agree that your father is inspired by that devil? Well, I, I don't, I, I, I lost track of how do we get off to, uh, on someone getting their hands chopped off or saving someone's life. I didn't right. Me so if your dad says he's inspired by God, he heard the voice of God telling him, chop off the woman's hands. Then you said, look, this is not God inspiring your daddy. It is the inspiration of the devil. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because we don't we command. We don't command. If your father, in that perspective, the way you put it, right? Yeah. Yes, that's that's crazy. According to that perspective, is it crazy or is it san sanity? Same. For your father to chop off your mother's hands. I'm asking you, is it sanity or lunacy? What is your judgment? What I gave you the example. Your father, your mother saved your father's life. And now she, he says, chop of her hands. And he's inspired by God. It's the devil that's inspiring him. Do you agree? If your father says, God told him to chop off your mother's hands for saving his life, he said, Daddy, this is the work of the devil. No God. No sane person can ever give such an advice. Am I right? In the way you frame the question, yes. Right. In the way I frame the question, right. That is the devil who's inspiring that. Now open. Deuteronomy chapter 25. Open. Deuteronomy chapter 25 verse 11. Open. Open your book. <laughs> and you read it in Spanish. <laughs> you yourself. Yourself. 25, 11 and 12. Deuteronomy 25 11 and 12. Yes, my brother, Seventh-day Adventist. I like it your says, Bible. It says, when men strive together one with another. Uh -huh. And the wife of one draweth near for to deliver her husband out of the hand of him that smiteth him, mm -hmm. and putteth forth her hand, uh -huh. and taketh him by the secrets. Uh -huh. Then shalt thou shalt cut off her hand, uh -huh. thine eye shall not pity her. Right, right, right. Is this the word of God? Does God give you such advice? That the woman come to save your father's life, and now chop off her hands, and your eye must not pity. No mercy must be shown. Is this God's word or the devil's word? We this is God's word. Huh? God's word. Does God give you such advice? Such such lunacy coming from your God? Is he a lunatic? Your father no, would be a lunatic. No, 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 no. 
Look, if your father said that you agree, your father is a loony. If God gives the same advice, your God is a loony. No, no. No, this God of your Bible, if he gave that advice, then this is the devilish advice. Is the devil talking and not God. But you you too accept everything in the Bible, right? Hmm? You, do you accept everything in the Bible? No, do you? You don't. But you do. Yes, do. You said from end to end is the word of God. Is that the word of God? Word of God. Huh? Yes, it is. Huh? Yes, it is. God inspired that. Yes, he did. He told Moses to write that. that, that yes, huh? he did. Now, does that sound like saying to you, sanity? I don't According know. to any standard, the my most friend. lunatic people on earth, my friend. I'm telling the most barbaric people in the Congo, if you tell them, say, this guy is a loony, the guy who wrote that is a loony, and you who believe in it, you are also a loony. Huh? You are a person who is mentally masturbating. You are called mental masturbators. You reading that, you are the Christian today, yeah. he is a mental masturbator. Uh -huh. He is masturbating mentally. Uh -huh. You reading the simple, straightforward language. The most lunatic idea, and you say you still prefer to accept that as the word of God. Yes, sir. that means you are mentally masturbating. 